What was it like reading the series finale script? I don't know if there's a word or even phrase that can sum it up. It was like, what the fuck? My mom's gonna lose her mind. I was shocked, scared for a lot of it. I think the fans are gonna love it. It's heartwarming, a little dangerous. It's a big episode. It's a roller coaster. A redemption for the characters in the story. <laughs> there are deaths, there's heartache. It's a crazy episode. Angelina gets her just desserts. I have a lot to tell you. But there's also tons of joy. I don't think fans will be disappointed at all, but for us, as actors, it was severely emotional. I mean, we're saying goodbye to characters that we've held dear for so long. That almost destroyed me. I mean, this has been almost five years of our lives. I can't believe that this is the end. I think it's the right ending for these characters, and I uh, cried a lot. We've had most of the bones of the finale in our head from the very beginning. To finally put it on paper was incredibly cathartic. The good people live, the bad people die, and everybody gets a do-over. It just feels right. right. So when you're reading it, it doesn't feel like, wait, what? It kind of feels like, of course. I don't think I was surprised. I was more of just like, yeah, that, that it makes sense. And action! We actually just finished shooting a lot of it, and so going through the acting aspect of it, it just felt peaceful, it just felt right, like a proper goodbye. Catharsis, like a journey has completed. But I don't wanna say goodbye. Why do I have to say goodbye? It's like a, a journey has ended, but a new one is just starting. Mm. Nice. <sighs> In Gupta's lab, they were tracking underwater volcanoes across the globe. They had no way of tracking subterranean volcanoes that would arise on land. You know, I play a scientist, so all the science stuff, it can get very dense. What's that line that you have to say to procure? Uh, failed to procure. Your preferred grade used commercial sapphire. We're all gonna get that tattooed on our bodies Absolutely. at some point. Yes. I was like a little nervous to shoot this final episode because my character explodes. And when I was reading this script, it says like all the other characters explode. And as I was reading it, I was like, thank God that's not me. And then it got to Angelina and it was like Angelina starts cracking and exploding worse than all the others and I was like god damn it <laughs> like, I also was just like a little sad I knew it was gonna be over so yeah it was a tough episode to shoot but I think very worth it I had a blast because in my real life I have zero authority you know <laughs> and I've always wanted to play a character where I get to get out of a car slam the door and say something definitive and then people follow me I don't need to tell you that's impossible I did know after episode 10 that I would be back. I had lunch with Jeff back in November of last year before we started shooting season four, and he told me about everything because at the end of the first block, we know what happens to Zeke. But I knew that there would be a way for Zeke to continue to be in the show and to play an important role in it. And so I love the stuff that I've had in season four. It feels like a little bit of a return to season one and two for Zeke, which was like a dream come true for me. So um, yes, I knew. I think they did a beautiful job at bringing it all together. How'd you know my name? You see a lot of familiar people in this episode. We see characters from the very beginning, and we all come back together. A lot of our storylines don't always overlap, and so that's always fun when the whole cast is in, because it's like a party. It was like going to some kind of strange high school reunion where you see all these people from your past. A lot of giggles, a lot of crying, a lot of, I don't want to do this right now. So to have us all together again was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Mikhail and I, we're meant to be together. Maybe, maybe not. All these things that have been talked about and planted in stories that have maybe gone away are now coming back. And that is a huge payoff for the fans. The fans of Zekela, obviously. <laughs> we have these two factions of really passionate people. But I think the finale really does service both groups. 100%. And I, yeah. I hope that it really touches them. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, disappointments when we were canceled was to not be able to finish the story for the fans. That was a punch in the gut. And so when we were saved, by Netflix and to be able to share that. I think we might have saved the world. We're coming back, we're gonna finish the story. That was incredibly gratifying. Thank you to Netflix. We now globally have a humongous audience that are gonna be able to enjoy this journey because we now have this platform to release all in four seasons and this journey is ending, but for a lot of people, the journey is just beginning with Netflix and being able to join us on this manifest ride. Yeah.